as is typically born through the military, French military. You go, you go. And uh, there was another debut of jazz at the same time in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And so in America, we have two approaches to jazz in the beginning. The New Orleans style, which was basically uh, syncopated music coming through the French military. And then we had the music coming from the West, which was uh, a product of slave and Indian, American. India. India. Where we dealt with uh, Chick Webb, uh, we dealt with Benny Moten, we dealt with Count Basie, Charlie Parker. All that was the product of jazz from the West. So there was no one identified approach to blues and jazz in America. There was two. There was the New Orleans, which came, as I said, through syncopated music from the French military and the slave. And then there at the same point, there was the Western music, uh, such as I mentioned, uh, Chick Webb, Benny Moulton, which is a product of the Indian product of the Indian American influence into jazz, which Charlie Parker was a product of through his uh, okay. ancestry. So America is uh, a two-part fold in the creation of uh, blues jazz. The difference that you could identify in each form was the swing, whereas the swing from New Orleans, as I said, it's syncopated swing. And the swing from the West was what uh, what we call Kansas City swing. And when you say West, what do you mean? With I mean the Kansas Western City. Yes. I'm from Oklahoma. My family's in Kansas City. Uh, there's a Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Missouri separate. And there's Kansas City, there's Missouri, but, but there's Texas, but and the, there's Oklahoma. Yes, this but, is four frontiers. Okay, but the, the West and the Kansas City just didn't pop out from nowhere. They had, had come, came from somewhere. Yeah, it came from the Indian American influence. And what is that? That's the swing. Say, for example, uh, one drummer which you could identify in the style of percussion who was, uh, it was a white drummer who was influenced by it, was a guy like Gene Cooper. Uh, the Western approach to swing was uh, not syncopated. It was uh, a system sort of one and one beat and triple beats. Uh, so uh, the difference, as I said, in New Orleans music is syncopation. You have to understand the difference in syncopation. And uh, syncopation is considered common time, and common time is considered regimental time from the army. And the reason that a New Orleans music uh, was rather popular because from uh, George Washington and uh, during the American uh, Revolution and uh, let me think. George Washington, he joined with the French general. George Washington, Washington. united yeah. with the French general, I think it was his name, to uh, defeat Fritch and the Britain. And so they did. Uh, I'm trying to think of the French general's name. Oh, it yeah, it does, because the difference of it is, is that this general purchased for France, St. Louis, uh, New Orleans, Mississippi Delta, and all around. Was, this was uh, a gift that George Washington gave him, gave France. Mm. And uh, after that period, the slaves were brought, and uh, the music from the, um, the, the French colonization, the music arise from French colonization of the slaves in the area, Mississippi, Delta, etc., be from the plantations, and the music arrived because uh, the the can't touch a mic. Sorry, uh, the slave owner, when he came, he came with a sort of uh, Christian music, and at that period, blacks were not allowed to listen to Christian music or to go into churches with white people. Forbidden. 
forbidden. Mm. When he brought the white family to a church, Protestant, he had to sit outside with the mule and listen. So he began to listen to this Christianity music. And with the combination of his African memories, African rhythms, uh, his first thought was, this music seems to satisfy the white people, the slave masses. This music seems to make them happy, make them content to continue our suffering in a sense. So at that period also, there were certain slaves that were considered house slaves. They were in contact with violins, banjos, etc., army snares, etc. So now from that evolved a sort of African bluesy music, without the knowledge musically. Then you trace back to Tuskegee. Tuskegee was Tuskegee it was one of the first uh, schools that a black man could study European music. So then we were able to get. When was the, when was the uh, We would be dealing with the 17, 18 century. I'm trying to think of a guy, a piano player, not Fats Waller, mm -hmm. this other guy. All this, uh, you know, is coming at me. I, I, the history of it is very clear to me, but off time. Anyway, um, John Johnson, P. Johnson. No, not P. Uh, no, not P. Johnson is one of them, but it's one before him. Who he was very educated uh, with the European music, P. Johnson, for composing, yeah, for translating the feeling of African and Christian combination. Yeah. But now, that's for basically we could go to a lot of very important musicians in that period. But now we're going to jump to the West. Yeah. And in the West, as I said, you had, uh, it was a little later, 19th century, mm -hmm. but it was the second influence in America. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, you had from Chick Webb to Benny Moten, and that whole group mm -hmm. created the Kansas City Swing. Yeah. And the Kansas City Swing included men like Lester Young, uh, Oh, uh, a number of them. So those were the New Orleans music was earlier, mm. but eventually it didn't control the western part of the country in the 19th century. In the 19th century, we got what we call Kansas City swing. Mm. Before that, you had the music was sort of limited to Mason Dixie to the Deep South. Mm. You talk very highly about Sid Catlett. Where, 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 where does he come from? Well, the Sid Catlett's whole history has a lot to do with with that Kansas City swing. And, uh, and Sid, Sid Catlett's part in it as a drummer, that's why I'm so fond of Sid Catlett, because he, to me, he was one of the first, I guess you could say, creative drummers. Mm -hmm. Because in Sid's history, Sid played theaters, circuses, uh, Father Hines, or he played such a wide assortment of gigs, mm. and I was uh, influenced by him because I, I wanted to be that kind of drummer. Uh, this was rather interesting.